His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa hosted Ramadan Majlis leaders at an iftar banquet at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of Team Bahrain's unified efforts to meet the kingdom's wide-ranging development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain's citizens are essential partners in realizing the kingdom's development goals and aspirations and remain at the core of the kingdom's advancement. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the efforts and contributions of Bahraini citizens in their various workplaces. Places, noting the kingdom's commitment to continuing upskilling the national workforce. He praised the positive impact Bahrainis have had on several projects and government programs, which is appreciated by all. His Royal Highness exchanged greetings with the Majlis leaders on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, expressing his best wishes for continued progress and prosperity for the kingdom and its people under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness noted that such gatherings provide a platform to promote strong bonds among citizens and strengthen social connections in the kingdom's society. His Royal Highness noted the kingdom's unique society, a multicultural haven whose people share the same national identity, noting that the safety and security enjoyed by the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King are an important feature of Bahrain. He emphasized the national responsibility to safeguard and maintain the kingdom's safety and security. His Royal Highness also expressed pride in the successes of the kingdom's economic recovery plan and Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, affirming the importance of measuring and evaluating the remaining goals and achieving them as part of ongoing development efforts. His Royal Highness expressed his anticipation and optimism for Bahrain Economic Vision 2050, for which His Royal Highness has directed to begin consultations aimed at furthering the kingdom's development to benefit all. He underscored the importance of unifying efforts to meet current and future development goals to benefit all. He expressed pride in the achievements of Bahraini youth across various fields, noting that each achievement serves as a cause for celebration as the kingdom continues to achieve successes and goals to foster a brighter future for all. His Royal Highness emphasized his commitment to strengthening partnerships with the private sector through initiatives that create promising opportunities for Bahraini citizens, adding that efforts are ongoing to empower Bahrainis to ensure they remain the first choice in the labor market. He underscored Bahrain's firm stance towards the Palestinian cause and its unwavering commitment to reaching a peaceful, lasting and fair solution in support of Palestinians' legitimate rights to establish an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. For their part, the attendees expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness for his unwavering dedication to all members of society for strengthening the social fabric of Bahrain, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Fund Timkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with other senior officials, were also in attendance. On the occasion of Arab Orphan Day, which is celebrated on the first Friday of April, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, the Honorary President of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, for his fatherly care towards orphans in Bahrain, hailing His Majesty's keenness on providing a stable life for any, everyone. His Highness also commended the support uh, the RHF receives from the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, as it gives considerable attention to the RHF. Jeff's efforts towards orphans and all ministries' endeavors to facilitate services to develop the foundation's work. 
For his part, the Secretary General of the RHF, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, affirmed that the foundation has been keen on providing all forms of care to orphans and on training them on many skills to support them in launching projects that enable them to increase their income. He added that the foundation is implementing community partnership with many entities to provide further services and endeavors to achieve an investment in financial infrastructure that ensures its continuity to provide support to all those in need in Bahrain and in brotherly and friendly countries. The team of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa to seize motorsport achieved the impressive victory of a double podium finish at the start of the British GT Championship season in the UK. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah expressed pride at the result, which, with the resumption of competitions in the new season and with Bahrain victory in these major international sports races, he praised the performance of uh, divers Ian Logie and Phil Keane who demonstrated their experience and ability once again to confirm their position in this championship. The duo won second place in the opening race of the season and third place in the second race. As for the racers, uh, Kevin C. and Maximilian Gotts, His Highness said uh, that they were not lucky as a result of their experience on the racetrack, especially with the impact of safety cars and cautions. He affirmed their ability to lead again at a Silverstone. Team Tossies is currently focusing on its first European participation in a the Fanatec GT World Challenge Europe, powered by AWS, which takes place at Paul Ricard at a later date. The outcomes of the report of the National Audit Office, the NAO, on the Protective Home License a Khatwa program have topped the agenda of a joint executive legislative meeting. It was co-chaired by the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Lamsallam, the Shura Council Chairman, Ali Saleh, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Ghanem al -Buainin. The Speaker emphasized the common keenness on the interests of the nation and citizens and on supporting the request of the Khatwa program affiliates in accordance with the law, provisions, regulations and procedures in force and the importance of developing programs that contribute to improving citizens' living standards and entrepreneurship. The Shura Council Chairman praised the keenness of the government to provide the legislative authority with information regarding topics of interest. The government's representatives uh, reviewed the results of the NAO's investigative report on the Khatwa program where the Minister of Parliament Affairs underlined the keenness of the government to provide all forms of support to the citizens to benefit from government programs and services. In light of the royal order of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa regarding the preservation of the historical and cultural identity of buildings and cities in Bahrain and an implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister to open, renovate and develop 32 mosques affiliated with the Sunni and Jafari Waqf Directorates and all governors and in conjunction with the country's celebrations of the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty's accession to the throne, the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa inaugurated Sheikh 
حمد بن عيسى ال خليفه موسك ان محرق following its renovation شيخ عبد الرحمن expressed pleasure at the opening of the mosque during the last 10 days of the holy month he hailed the support the he hailed the support of places of worship in Bahrain receive and his majesty the king and his royal highness the crown prince and prime minister which stems from their belief and their importance message and vital role in the lives of muslims he commended the ancient history of the sheikh hamad mosque as it is an important historical religious landmark in Muharraq, bearing the name of the late ruler of Bahrain, Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Ali al Khalifa, and it is one of the oldest mosques in Bahrain. Sheikh Abdul Rahman affirmed that the SCIA continues performing its duty in serving mosques and various governance in cooperation with the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs, and Waqf and the Sunni and Jafari Waqf directorates. The Board of Trustees Chairman of Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Dirasat Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received Arab ambassadors to Bahrain and hailed the brotherly and close ties between Bahrain and their countries, including in scientific research. He noted Dirasat's commitment to research excellence, knowledge exchange, and building partnerships in accordance with the highest standards of quality and efficiency, as it is one of the international centers of expertise and one of the best research centers in the region. Sheikh Dr. Abdullah affirmed that scientific research receives the support of his majesty the king and his royal highness the crown prince prime minister he briefed the ambassadors on the events of the center and his publications The government, in partnership with the private sector, is working to accelerate meeting citizens' housing requests by adopting innovative solutions in accordance with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's directives during the Cabinet meeting. To achieve the visions of His Majesty the King aimed at developing the nation, the Ministry of Housing seeks to provide a set of alternative solutions and options for those who are eligible to choose what is suitable for them. The Ministry has worked to enable citizens to obtain adequate housing, the most important of which is building modern and integrated housing towns in addition to launching programs and financing services granted by the ministry through the Tasheel program and the new category of Mazaya, which provides citizens with a range of options to buy or build. The ministry also launched the Government Land Development Rights Program with the aim of providing social housing units in partnership with the private sector. The first project of this program was at the Suhail with, with 132 housing units. An agreement was also signed to implement 131 housing units in Salman Town. The ministry is also implementing implementing eight additional projects. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority conducted 788 campaigns and inspection visits during the last week of March, which resulted in arresting 74 violating and irregular workers and detecting violations related to the provisions of some regulating laws. The authority noted that legal measures have been taken regarding the violations. The Sunni Waqf director congratulated his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan and Eid Al Fitr, wishing the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. The Sunni Waqf Council announced that the Eid Al Fitr prayers will be held as affiliate mosques and prayer areas at 5:38 a.m., noting that it has prepared 19 fully equipped Eid Al Fitr prayer areas, in addition to prayer areas at many schools for non-Arabic speaking communities across the governance. On the occasion, the Sunni Waqf Directorate thanked uh, the government entities that have cooperated with it to prepare the Eid and Fitr prayer areas. They include the Ministries of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, of Interior Information, the Electricity and Water Affairs Authority, the Ministries of Housing and Urban Planning, of Youth Affairs, of Education, of Health, and uh, the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities.
Al-Azhar Grand Imam and head of the Muslim Council of Elders, His Eminence Dr. Ahmed Al-Tayyib, received the Arab Parliament Speaker Adil Asumi. The Grand Imam praised the efforts made by His Majesty the King to spread the values of peaceful coexistence among people. He stressed the necessity of building on the historical results of the Bahrain Dialogue Forum to consolidate the values of coexistence and peace between different cultures and religions. He also praised the role of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence in spreading and consolidating these values through pioneering programs that regional and global levels. al Asumi praised the pioneering role of Al-Azhar Al-Sharif under the leadership of His Eminence in defending Arab and Islamic issues.